Hello friends, happy Tuesday. My name is Ray with Dizzy Designer. If you're new to me, tonight we're gonna be working on um, the American or America um, inserts for the wagon kit. So here's the wagon kit. I've got a red one, so I figured I'd pull that one out for 4th of July. Here's the little front piece that says America. I've got a little round piece here that says home of the free because of the brave. Hey Susan. God bless America. And then we've got a cute little flag with stars and stripes. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use red, white, and blue, but I'm going to kind of make them look a little bit uh, rustic if I can. Hello, Connie. I'm going to tip you guys down here and we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my backgrounds first and get those out of the way. I'm going to use a little bit of toffee here and some white for some of the different background colors. Oops, my lid didn't come off of here. Hello, Maureen. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna paint this background white here. Let's see here, I'm gonna dump some of this out. I'm using some chalk paint, but it doesn't um, doesn't come out as easily as the acrylic paint. Let's see if we can get it out of here. There we go. But it covers better. Hello, Janet. We are doing good, Susan. He's upstairs right now. I don't know what he's doing. Doing something up there. He's been packing up his room. We're getting ready to move. We sold our house over the weekend and we're going to be moving soon. So just getting everything ready to go. Hello, Kelly. All right, as always, I'm not too picky about my sides because I don't sell my finished pieces usually, but I did have some requests for some finished pieces. So I am gonna actually go through some of my stuff before we move and have a live sale of some of my finished stuff if you're interested. I'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks. But typically, I don't sell my pieces, so my edges get sloppy, but I'll have to go back through and clean up my edges. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Leah. Hello, hello friends. All right, so just a white background here on this piece. I'm also gonna do a white on the back of this little shiplap looking piece here. And then I'm gonna go over and do some of the toffee to give us a wood grain look on some of the other pieces. And then once this is all dry, I'll come back through and make it look a little bit rustic or vintagey. A little bit more of this white paint. Hello, hello. My goodness, this does not come out here very easy. Cover's good though, so I'm not complaining. It just takes a minute to get it out of the container. Hi, Mindy. Lots of new names on here. I usually go live on Fridays, but this month with everything that's going on, I will kind of be hopping all over the place. So if you're new to me and you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the follow button. I do go live at least once a week, normally on Fridays, but I'll be kind of sporadic for the next little bit with everything that's going on. All right, so then I'm going to do Oops, I was going to do white on the back of this one too. Hold on, let's do that before we move on to our next color. Just easier that way. Hello from Iowa. Hi, Christy. How are you? Might as well get all the white out of the way, then we'll move on to the toffee color, and then we can do the fun stuff. Guys, these kits are available on the website. So if you're new to me, it's dizzydesigner.com. It's also linked on my <clears throat> on my business page. Um, there are a couple of tiered tray fire kits up there. There's some, some more tiered tray kits coming soon. I just haven't had a chance to get them cut and listed yet. And then there are, let's see, there's this one, some fence pieces. I don't know, there's a couple of different things up there. So go check it out. Hello, Beth. All right, now I'm gonna go over to the toffee and I'm gonna use a baby wipe to do this part. Just 
gonna dip it in the toffee and then rub it around the piece. It just kind of gives it a natural, it makes it look like wood. There's no brush strokes this way. So there we go. Hey Vicki, how are you? I'm gonna do the same thing with this part that says stars and stripes. It's just gonna be a little bit more difficult with all the different letters, but it does kind of shred my, my wipe a little bit. So I'll have little stringy things all over it, but that'll wipe off in a minute when it's all dry. Hi, Pamela. Hello, Peggy. All right, so there's that part. And look, it's not too much different than the wood that it's cut out of. Okay, so next, let's see what we want to do next. See if this stuff is dry. This is actually dry, so I'm going to go back through with the same color, but I'm going to use one of my, I always forget what these are called, one of my brushes, but I'm going to do a dry brush method, so just get a little bit of paint on there, wipe most of it off, and then I'm going to kind of streak some of the color through, and make it look a little bit vintage -y. And every time I dip my paintbrush and the paint, I'm going to wipe some of the paint back off because I don't want it to be very dark on here. It's just dry brushing. Can you see that? A little bit of color on there. It just kind of gives it a little different look. Hello, Gloria. Welcome. Same thing again. Dip it in there. Get most of it off. And then we're going to go through and do that on the back of this one. You can make it darker in some spots if you want to. You can go around the edges. Um, whoops, like I just made it darker there and I didn't mean to do that. So I just did it a little bit heavier on the edges there. You can do this with any of the colors. Um, sometimes I do it with, like I could do it with a red, white, and blue if we wanted to, or not white, obviously, but with red and blue. Hello, Pamela. Um, Okay, so that was it on our, nope, it was not. Here we go. I was going to say, I thought we had three pieces. Do the same thing over here on this piece. And I tend to do mine a little bit heavier along the lines and on my edges. I'm going to do this with black. I contemplated doing it with black, but then I thought maybe the brown, the toffee color would look good, make it look more vintagey. The dark just would stand out a little bit more. So there we go there. So we got those pieces all done and ready to go. So I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna go into some white paint and I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did, but with white. I'm gonna do it on these pieces that we just did brown or toffee colored. Well, let's see here. So this is gonna go this way, land of the free. I don't feel like the white's showing up at all on there. There we go. I don't think you guys will be able to see it. Oh, you can in the camera. The trick is just getting so that it's it's a dry brush method. You don't want to have a bunch of wet paint on there. If you want it to have this vintagey look. So there's our stars and stripes. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. I'm gonna go on to this part, I think. I'm gonna need some more white for my stars and for my stripes. I hope I'm not shaking you guys. Hey, Gail. I probably am shaking you, aren't I? I'm sorry. I'm using the Waverly chalk paint. It just covers way better and I just got this little container where it doesn't come out of there very well. Okay, let's do Trying to debate, I can probably use this one. So obviously our stars are white and then we're gonna have some white stripes as well. So 
I don't know why I think it's easier to do the stars and the uh, or sorry the white the star part and the stripes before I go in with the color and do that part so I'm just gonna do this real quick and go over I'm going out of the lines and I think that's why I like to do it this way because when you go through with your color you can cover up all your little mistakes see how those are not perfect nope it is not it's just a baby wipe you could do the same thing probably with like a paper towel if you dampen it I have not tried it, but I would assume that it would work the same. Our little stars and stripes will probably be a little bit time consuming. Hello, Julie. Hello, Teresa. Did I miss another question? Hi, Tina. If I miss you live, I'll come back through and say hello to you. Later today or tomorrow, I do try to say hi to everybody, answer any questions that you might have. That one went way out of the line. That's all right. We're going to cover it up with some blue next. Just trying to get the stars painted. And you could go through and paint this whole thing if you wanted to, white, and then come back over it with the blue. That would work too if that's easier for you. I think this is going to be super cute when it's done. I've been wanting to do this file for a while. But we're just now getting into the patriotic season, so it's perfect timing now. Okay, some messy stars for us to start with. And then we're gonna go over here and do some stripes. And I think we're gonna go red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. And again, I'm gonna try and make this look a little bit vintagey too when I'm done getting it painted in. We'll go back over it and do some stuff to it to make it look a little bit more rustic. Let me do, let me see if I can fill it in with this brush. There we go, that'll save us some time. So we're starting our stripes. Hello, Karen. Hi, Becky. outline it and then try to fill it in with this brush it's about the perfect size as long as I don't go out of the lines I should be good how is everybody doing any big plans this weekend for Mother's Day we have got my grandparents memorial on Sunday and then it's Mother's Day, or sorry, on Saturday. And then on Sunday, it's Mother's Day. And I think we're going to work on getting some things done at the new house and moving some stuff over. So it'll be a busy weekend. I do love this chalk paint. If you haven't used it, I do highly suggest giving it a try. Covers really good. It's just a lot thicker than the acrylic paint, so. All right, there we go. Got a good start going. Now we just gotta do our colorful parts. Let's see, what else do we wanna do in white? We're gonna do That's it. I'm not going to worry about anything else yet. We're going to just move on to our red color. Leah, we're moving about 10 minutes away from here. Um, my grandparents passed away. My grandma passed away about six years ago and my grandpa just died in January. So we are actually going to move there and the property has been in my family for about 100 years. It's on 10 acres. We're going to add on and remodel everything. Um, the house isn't old. It was my grandparents built it about 20 years ago. Um, they tore down my great grandparents' house and built their own. 
but it still needs a lot of work to be ours. So yeah, that'll be nice. Hello, Becky. Hi, Teresa. All right. I'm almost out of this red already. Can we just start in red, white, and blue season? I'm gonna have to go get some more. That is called bright red. Okay. So I rinsed my brushes. I'm just gonna use the same brushes to finish this part up. Now with red and white, you do wanna be careful that it's dry, otherwise you'll end up with pink and that does not look good when you're trying to do red, white, and blue stuff. So just make sure you're not jumping into the next color before it's dry. Sorry if I'm quiet here. I don't want to go outside my lines and mess up my pretty stripes. Anybody else love red, white, and blue stuff? That's like my second favorite. I love, well, I don't know if it's my second favorite. It might be my favorite favorite. I love Christmas time and all the Christmas colors, but I absolutely love red, white, and blue. I was at the store like two weeks ago, I think it was, and they had out a bunch of patriotic ribbon. That was the first I'd seen red, white, and blue stuff this year so far. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. My lines are not gonna be perfect. Even though they're etched in here, my hands shake too much to keep them exactly in line, but doing the best I can. What it's looking like so far, if you see right there in the middle, I kind of messed up, but hello, Anna. It is what it is. It's hand painted, right? Never going to be perfect. Totally went over the line there. It's all right. I can try to go back through and clean it up a little bit, but you know what usually happens if I try to clean it up? I just make it worse, so. Oh, thanks. <laughs> My hands shake really bad. They are definitely not steady. I've learned to control them pretty good for painting, but they're pretty shaky. done with this part. I'm so excited to see it all finished, guys. I cut these and I photograph them and I get them listed on the website and then I just wait to paint them live with you. So it kills me to see them in piles just waiting. On the other side of me, there is a whole bunch of kits just waiting to be painted. Okay, there we go. I am going to wait to do the, bl uh, the blue for a minute. I don't want to have purple on there. That would not look good. So we're going to let that sit a minute. I'm going to go ahead and work on my lettering here. Let's see how I want this. So this says America. Let's do. I think I'm going to do red, white, and blue. Even though there's white on there, I'm going to make it a brighter white on the lettering. And usually I use my sponges for this, but I've got my brush out already, so I'm just going to go with it. So red, white, blue, we'll do I in red. Okay. And then I'm going to do my 1776 in red. Yes, these would work perfect for the tiered trays. They work perfect for the little leaning fences that I've got up. They'll go great in the wagon. You can use them for all sorts of things. I 
if you like farmhouse stuff, I've got some super cute tiered tray kits up um, for 4th of July with like cows and different farm things. They're so cute. I can't wait to do those. I think I'm going to paint that live on Friday with you guys. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'll be live Friday morning like I usually do or if I'm going to wait and go live in the afternoon. I might have to wait until after work Friday to do that live. And then I think I'm going to do this hat red as well. And then we'll move on to our blue. All right. Hello, Betsy. And I'm not going to do a second coat on this, any of these, because we want them, I want them to look a little bit more vintage or rustic. And if I do a second coat, they're going to be super bright and it's going to kind of take away from that look. So normally I do a second coat on all of my stuff, but I'm not going to on this set today. And that is why. All right. Let that all dry. Oh, you know what? This I want to be brown too. All right, we'll do that again in a second. So we've got red. We're going to do white on these two pieces. Let's try this brush. Hello, Mary. Now on these white letters, I'm going to leave them just solid white because I want them to stand out off of the background where the background I've got a little bit of that rustic look going. So I'm not going to do that on the letters, just going to leave them plain white. Okay. Red, white, and these ones are going to be blue. I didn't rinse that. Let's get out our blue. Probably need more than that eventually, but it should work good for now. gonna be cute. Hi Mary, welcome. So happy to have you here. I typically go live every Friday morning, but because of the move, I won't be committed as much to that time. I usually do like 8 30 in the morning. Um, but with everything going on, I'll still be live once a week. They just will be a little bit more sporadic this month. And then hopefully next month, once things settle down, I'll be back to my normal schedule. So if you're new to me, hit the follow button. I try to go live. Like I said, at least I do at least once a week. It's just going to be more sporadic right now instead of scheduled like I like to do. All right, going back into this toffee color and doing the God Bless America in this. I think I want this to match like the wood look that we have going on on those other pieces. Kind of shreds on those letters so I get little pieces Okay, let's see. Is this our last piece to color? It is, I think. So we've got our blue to do. Hello, Tamara. All right, let's go. Let's try to do this carefully and not mess up our stars. What did I do the other day? Oh, I did my little 
I did the kit for my subscription box group and it, um, we had stars on there and that was hard to go around the stars. So let's see if I can do better today. Well, that part was easy. If we could get the rest to go so easy, that would be great. Hello, Peggy. I think I'm gonna start back here. You know, the other thing is, is I don't really care for brush strokes, but when you're going around stars, it's really hard not to have a bunch of, you're gonna see that, you're, you know, the brush strokes around the stars, so. It's all right. Ooh, almost dropped it. Did you guys catch that? Almost made a giant mess. I have to check my time here in a second. I feel like I'm taking forever with this one. <laughs> oh, we're doing good still. Hello, Tanya. I'm trying to get right up to the white spots without messing up my stars. Which is not easy with my shaky hands. But I think it's looking pretty good so far. I think it's going to be cute when it's all done. Thanks so much for all the hearts. Oops, I went right inside my star that time. We got, what, about 20 minutes? About 20 minutes left. I should definitely be able to get this painted and put together for you guys before we're done. I might just have to go back over some of the stars with the white to cover up some of the spots that I've gone over, but I think it'll be all right. Preston's bedroom at the new house is almost painted. We got carpet ordered today, flooring, I shouldn't say carpet, it's not, it's mostly, mostly wood flooring, but. Oh my gosh, only a few more stars, you guys, I have no, no idea how excited I am to be done painting this part. I feel like no matter what brush I use, it doesn't matter. I always mess up my stars. It doesn't matter how small it is. I don't think these ones are looking too bad though.
getting there friends almost painting around stars yes it is definitely a challenge but I love stars and stripes so it's worth it it just takes you just gotta be patient take your time okay not terrible but not the best either I'll have to go back through and fix some of my stars but let's go in and see how it's looking so far and make some changes if we need to. So here we go. We've got this piece. I don't remember how I had this. I think I wanted it like this. So this one says, God bless America. I think I can go, I could go back through here and paint my stars maybe. We could do those in like blue. And we got this cute piece that will have the 1776 in the middle. I might go in with black and just make a little bit more rustic looking. Thank you. And then we've got our stars and stripes, which is still wet, so I don't think I want to... Just got to be careful not to move it. This is my favorite piece. I definitely want to touch up my stars before I'm done. And we've got America here. So there we go. I'm going to go through with some black though and do the dry brush method on some of the pieces. So it's not just that toffee color or the tan brown, whatever color you want to call it on there. So I get paint on my brush and I offload it. With black, you really want to make sure you've got it offloaded. Sometimes like that, I just use my hand because you don't want it to be too dark. I would like my edges to have some color. There we go. I think that does pop a little bit better. I didn't want it at first, but I think I like it more with the black on there. Just gives it a little bit more. Can you see that even? I can see it in person. I don't know. It says America. Let's do some black on here. And again, I did more around the edges. Maybe I'll change my writing to black even. I don't know. On there, we'll see. Do a little bit of black on here. here got a little bit heavy roots with the black over here and what I was just gonna say is to be careful that you don't go crooked like I just did well it's a little too late for that now you can't really tell though with this over top of it so it worked out fine but just be careful when you're doing uh, this method if you want your lines to stay straight that you don't get a little bit carried away and make it crooked I'm good at doing that I'm gonna add a little bit through here I think just kind of makes it look like it's a little bit dirty you know like it's old perfect I like it okay I am gonna start gluing some pieces on I'm not certain on this color of these, this lettering. I might do this in black. Not my, I'm going to, let's change it to black. Now it might be too much. It is what it is, we changed it. There's no going back now. 
You could always paint over it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. But right here, it's not covering the best, so I'm gonna leave it kind of like that, and then it kind of gives it more of that vintage look too. You see that? It kind of looks like it's burnt maybe that way. It's supposed to go in opposite directions, so. And then, this has still got some wet blue paint. Let me start gluing down these pieces. So we're getting close to time here. And then I can finish that part in just a minute. And I can't find my little um, hanger part to this. I don't know where I misplaced it. So I will have to find that and paint those as well. Because this hangs on the front of the wagon, the little sign does. Thank you, Mary. I think it's going to look super cute when it's all done and put together. Oops. So there's our little sign. It's supposed to have a hanger. Let me steal the hanger from this one over here. So that I can show you it finished. I probably would paint these black or something instead of the brown that they are, but that's okay. So that will hang on the front and then all your pieces are gonna go inside of the wagon when we get it finished. Let me try and finish it real quick so you guys can see it all put together. I changed my mind on doing the stars. I was gonna, I was thinking about painting them blue or something, but I'm just gonna leave this. I want the flag to be the, the main colors, have that part pop. I really like how this turned out, this lettering. It looks vintage. It doesn't do it any justice in the camera there, but See, there's that piece. Put this one together. <gasps> Whoa! Scoot it around there. Hello, Marina. Thank you and welcome. So happy to have you here. To me, that's the worst part is lining up like, I think it's pretty straight. It might be off a little bit, but there's that piece. And then we just gotta do this piece. I think for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead. No, I'm not, I can't deal with the stars not being right. Oh yeah, let me click on my computer here. I still got about seven minutes, we're good. I'm just gonna try and touch up where I went and messed up some of these stars. do too bad. Most of them are pretty good, so.
All right, not so bad. Just gonna stick my glue on here. If you're new to this glue, definitely be careful. It's super, super sticky and your fingers will get glued together. And just run it through a few spots on the inside and call it good because it's going to stick anyways. Here's our final piece. Lift it up here and I'll show you it all done. All right, so then you've got, oops, all three pieces here. One, two, three. You can stick them in any order you want to. And then you got the cute little America part. So the wagon is separate, but you got one, two, three, four pieces that come in the kit. Wacky Jackie's DIY. Woohoo, they will be up next. Love anything Americana. Me too, Nancy. Let me see if I missed anybody here. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you. All right, friends. Well, I did pretty good. Only four minutes left until the next cracker. So make sure you stick around. If you're new to my page, please hit the follow button. I go live every Friday, typically. It'll be a little bit sporadic this month. Hey, Deborah. Um, but I would love to have you join me and I will talk to you guys soon. We'll see you Friday. Have a great rest of your week. Bye everybody.